so you know how the human brain works, right? It's basically a highly dense network, um, and we have synapses, and, and what happens is that synapses gets signals from different network connections, has an internal storage, internal memory, and based on that, that learned memory, um, it fires or it might not fire. And over billions of years, evolution got us there. The highly optimized, the most perfect thing is our human brain, right, and how it works. And it's very simple. There's signal coming in, and based on learned behavior, uh, the synapses fires or not. That's exactly happens. Evolution strikes again, and that's what happens right now in the internet, in the net, with IoT. IoT is the sensor, right? It's like the cells in our, pu um, in our retina that fires maybe because it sees a little blue or a little red. And then the signals are getting to certain systems that then fire or not. For example, my Apple iWatch might send my average heart rate to the Apple Health Kit. And the Apple Health Kit learns over time, but maybe today my heart rate is totally off. So the Apple Health Kit fires a heart attack warning. That's exactly what the synapses do, right? So they get signals and they fire. Now the interesting thing is everything is getting connected, right? I mean, in a few years we will have our insurance connected to our um, variable devices. I, I mean, we already have it in the car industry where the sensor data from the cars is connected to our insurance. So we're building exactly the same thing that evolution is built in our brain, this highly dense network of sensors and synapses that fire in certain observations. This is happening again. And I think what we're building here is this massive, massive brain, that massive collaborative intelligence. And with IoT, with billions of IoT devices coming online, it's exactly what we're building.